Hello everybody, I chose to look at Minor White, an American photographer, noted for his landscape photography, although he's known for much more than just landscape photography. So I don't want to bore you all too much with the biographical info, but I've put it here in case anybody wants to pause and take a look for themselves. To sum it up for you, Minor White was born, raised, and educated in Minnesota. Five years after graduating, he moved to Portland, Oregon to explore photography. Shortly thereafter, he served in the military and moved to New York City. He spent two years at Columbia University before Angel Adams, another noted landscape photographer, invited Minor White to move back to the West Coast to join the faculty of the California School of Fine Arts. Minor White and Angel Adams co-founded a popular magazine titled Aperture. He later moved to Rochester, New York, where he taught at the Rochester Institute of Technology. He spent the final years of his life teaching at MIT. What's important to take from all this is that Minor White was known as an American photographer, educator, critic, and theoretician. Now, without further ado, I'll be quiet and let the photography speak for itself. All of the following photographs are from the Howard Greenberg Gallery. The first photo I want to show you is a very clean and composed landscape photograph. It features grazing cows behind a very picturesque structure. This is a much larger amount of landscape, but it's captured with a similar level of detail and intimacy. I very much like this photo. Again, it's a large landscape, but this time there's slightly less detail, and the focus of this photo, to me, seems to be the very bright clouds in front of the very dark sky. Again, here's a landscape featuring very dark and very light values. Though, in this photo, the dark values are in front of the light values. At this point, we start to depart from traditional landscape photography, and from landscape photography in general. I'd argue that there are still elements of landscape photography here, but it's clear how this isn't a typical landscape photograph. I hope you're prepared to depart from landscape photography, because for these final photos, I'll be showing a few different styles of photography that Minor White explored. This photo, like the last one, has some abstract elements.
Of the photos I selected by Minor Weight, this is one of my favorites. It stands apart from the rest in many ways, and it's an extremely captivating image. I just want to note the last in this photograph. They're both very abstract, so much so that I actually have trouble wrapping my head around exactly what this image is. Nearing the end here, I've included three final photographs that I find enjoyable for many reasons, one of which is the way the texture is captured. I think this photo is also very nice. I like how the light lays over the wood. It's a very satisfying photograph. This is the final of the 13 photographs, and it just might be my favorite of his photos. It's so simple, but it also seems like it has a lot to say. And again, the way texture is captured here really brings this photo to life. Thanks for listening. I hope everyone is safe at home and in good health. I'll keep it brief, but I want to remind everyone to stay home, stay safe, and to wash your hands regularly for 20 seconds, about twice the time it takes to sing happy birthday. Be sure that if you do need to enter a public place, that you wear a face mask for the sake of your own safety as well as the safety of others. Thanks again for listening, everyone. Take care.